World of Warcraft is played where different classes compete in different roles to achieve a goal. Mostly in PvE this is relevant, but this notion of class balance also applies to PvP and other areas of WoW. However, my opinion is WoW shouldn't be balanced at least not in the classes. Now it's fair to say that over time we started with classic well where different classes were very stuck in their ways, they pretty much had one viable spec and they had unique things that their specific class brought that other classes simply could not do. And on the other side we have modern well where it seems like every class can do pretty much everything. Every class has a self heal, every class has a gap closer, a spell interrupt, like anything you can think of pretty much every class can do within the toolkit of their talents and abilities and spells. Now which is better? Is it better to have balanced classes where things are very homogenous and no classes particularly lacking in any specific ability? Or is it better for classes to be unique and have their own class identity and do things that other classes can't do? I would say WoW is way more fun when the classes are imbalanced. However, this is my opinion. I think the objective sweet spot is between TBC and Wrath of the Lich King where they had the most WoW subscribers that have been logged. The thing about Classic WoW is, absolutely, the classes were not balanced whatsoever. However, that actually made it more fun. Now, if you look at two healers that are in PvE raiding, you have a Holy Paladin and you have a Restoration Druid. Now, these are both competing for the role of healer. And if you look at these two classes on paper, the Holy Paladin does way more healing per second compared to the Restoration Druid. So why wouldn't you just take Holy Paladins in every healing spot? Although Restoration Druids can't compete in raw numbers in terms of the actual healing they provide to a raid, they provide a unique utility to the raid itself. Innovate basically gives another character a mana battery which in Classic WoW, mana management was a huge deal. They were also the only class that could do a combat resurrection, meaning they acted as a backup. So if your tank died, typically the combat res will go out on that tank from that druid. Having that druid in that raid could literally save the entire raid from wiping. Now is that worse or better than the Holy Paladin, which does more healing per second than the druid? It's hard to say, but this is a really cool part of Classic WoW's design that a lot of people don't give it credit for. Although, if you look at the raw numbers, the classes aren't balanced whatsoever in terms of what their role can provide, but each class does have something unique to provide, they may not be brought out to raids in the same number as a class that can just do good numbers, like the Holy Paladin, for example. Holy Paladins were stacked tremendously in Classic Well, but they had a unique class identity, which meant you did want Restoration Druids, even though they weren't balanced in terms of how much healing they can actually do. A class I loved playing in Classic Well was the Mage. Now, the Mage in Classic Well is the absolute king of AoE. It doesn't even come close. Like, in terms of the AoE damage and crowd control that a mage can do at mass is absolutely phenomenal and so much so that it became the best way for one person to make gold by level boosting people in dungeons and raids and having people pay for the privilege of you AoE farming mobs and getting an insane amount of, ex of experience for them. Is that balanced? No. <laughs> that is not balanced at all, but it gives the mage a unique class identity which you can do something that other people can't do. You know, these warriors can top the meters in raids with their single target damage, but can they solo packs of mobs in Zolgarub? No, they cannot. And that's the wonderful thing about Classic WoW, in my opinion. The classes aren't balanced whatsoever, but every class felt unique. Playing a mage DPS is wholly different to playing a warrior DPS or a warlock DPS. And this is because every class couldn't do everything. Blizzard were selective in what abilities they gave different classes. It was not perfect, and as I said, I think objectively, the sweet spot was between TBC and Wrath of the Lich King, where a lot of the really gimped specs got ironed out and improved and became more viable. There were more options. Whereas the majority of classes in Classic WoW had a really unique spec to play, 
but it was the only viable spec to play in a raid for the most part. Like this is the case for most classes in Classic WoW, well, so that's why I think it got perfected in TBC to Wrath. But that being said, all of this is a far cry from what class balance is like now in Modern WoW. In Modern WoW, it seems like every class can do everything, and regardless of what class you are playing, the role that you have, which is the DPS, tank, or healing role, it doesn't really matter what class you play, you're kind of just playing a role. So so this right here is the list of warrior abilities. I'm just going to count the amount of self-healing that a warrior can do in retail well. So we've got Victory Rush, which heals you for 10% of your maximum health. No, in fact, it gets improved with a talent that heals you for 30% of your maximum health. 5% leech, which means you hit for a thousand, you get healed for 50. Pain and gain, when you take any damage, heal yourself for 4.5% max health. Bitter Immunity restores 20% of your health instantly and removes all diseases, poisons, and cures affecting you. Holy sh**. Stormwall, whenever you parry you heal for 10% of your max health. Can occur only once per second. Oh man, once per second, what a... Hold it cool down. Right, I could just go on and on, but needless to say, there's a lot of self-healing that a warrior can do in retail WoW. Well. Like, it's basically a shadow priest. Okay, now let's look at the rogue. Is the rogue any different? Oh look, Crimson Vial. Drink an alchemical concoction that heals you for 20% of your max health over 4 seconds. Rogues can basically cast Renew on themselves. And doesn't this look really familiar to the warrior ability? Yeah, okay, look at this. So, Bitter Immunity restores 20% of health instantly and removes all diseases, poisons, and curses affecting you. Oh wow, so different. Real amazing class identity here. Like, all of these classes pretty much do the same thing. So, in Classic WoW, rogues were known for being one of the most reliable interrupters. So yeah, like it can interrupt a spell every five seconds, which is pretty accurate to what it was like in Classic WoW. Yep, uh, Pummel, uh, 15 seconds. They Warriors can interrupt every 15 seconds. I'm curious to see if the Hunter also has a self-heal and a interrupt. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> yep, a Hunter can heal for 30% and your pet for 100% of max health. Jesus Christ. Okay, do they have an interrupt? Oh yes, of course they have an interrupt called Counter Shot. Yeah, it's got like an improved counter spell that you can talent into. What a shock. It, uh, Wow, a self-heal and an interrupt. So I think you're seeing the point there, right? The niches that different classes had in Classic WoW are pretty much shared by all classes now in WoW. So it's kind of like playing this homogenous blob that is in this role. So you have the DPS role and you play a class in this blob, aside from like the fantasy of like whatever you're playing and having like different animations of spells and abilities, there's no real meaningful difference between you and another class within that role. All classes are great at interrupting. All classes are great at self-healing. I'm sure they have great movement, I'm sure they have great gap closers, ways to like de-aggro themselves from a boss. Well, every class has everything in their toolkit, right? But how did it come to this point? Like, why is this the way it is? It really comes down to the demand from the player base for balance and how this is a bit of a self-destructive want that people have. Something's happened with the MMO player base where everything has to be balanced. Everything has to be so homogenous and no class can go wanting for any tool or ability. Everyone has to do the same thing as each other. And this demand for balance I find is really odd. For the most part, people don't play WoW as an eSport, yet there's this weird expectation that WoW has to be balanced like an eSport. The majority of people playing WoW are kind of just doing it for funsies. They'll level up a character, they'll do some dungeons, may try out some hard dungeons or raids, but they're not really playing it like at that kind of competitive level that you would see in the gaming culture of a game like StarCraft 2 or Dota 2, where yes, it really does make sense for developers to have a big focus on balance. But in Modern WoW, it's just kind of like, I don't get it. If I'm playing a mage in Classic WoW, I know what my niche is. I do AoE damage in big numbers. That's my thing. And I'm happy to do that. 
I love playing that role. I may see a Fury Warrior outcompete me on the meters in terms of single damage DPS where a boss isn't moving. Okay, in that specific role, that warrior will do better than me. But I'm fine with that because I have my own niche and role within the raid where my job is to take out large packs of mobs if they spawn, but my single damage DPS ain't bad but it ain't like the Fury Warriors. You know what I'm not gonna do? I'm not gonna whine about it because I'm okay with the game not being balanced like that. I don't want the Warriors to be as great as me in terms of AoE DPS. And I don't want to be as great as the Warriors are at single target DPS where the boss is static. But the modern WoW player base, oh, everything has to be so balanced. No, we can't just let People have their own role and their own niche. No, everything has to be so balanced. It's such a weird mentality where we're playing an MMO. This is basically like playing Dungeons and Dragons. You know, for the most part, people aren't competing in like the mythic dungeon invitational or whatever it's called. I think it's more fun for the average gamer to have their own moments of glory that their class uniquely can achieve. There are so many things in Classic WoW where your class can have your own moments of glory that is unique to your class. What moments of glory do you have playing more than well? If you're a DPS, you do DPS like the rest of them. Great gap closers, you can crowd control, you can interrupt, you can self heal, you can increase your movement speed. Like, yeah, I think this obsession with balance has really missed the point of what makes playing MMOs fun for most of us. I think Blizzard went down the wrong path of trying to appease people that are very vocally upset about their class not doing the thing the other class can do or, or people having sour grapes feeling that their class is not strong enough. And I think over time this appeasement really has reached a head to the point where we have now in a modern world where nobody can be upset anymore, every class can do everything. And has this made the game more enjoyable for people? I'd say no. The peak amount of people playing WoW was in TBC and Wrath of the Lich King, and I'm sure the numbers which aren't published anymore today of WoW subscriptions is nowhere near what it was like in TBC and Wrath. So the classes in WoW have never been more balanced. Yet I'm sure the numbers of people playing WoW are just nowhere near. Like I even made a video showing that on Google Trends, Wrath of the Lich King Classic was getting more searches than Dragonflight. Like that's insane. Like a new expansion and like Wrath of the Lich King Classic was getting more searches on Google which is just a re-release of old content as opposed to a brand new expansion with insane amounts of marketing dollars put into it. So I don't think what I'm saying is just like my perspective. I do think that this actually applies to our wider audience. Although people may say they want the game to be balanced, they'll say that. Does their behavior really reflect that. When the classes were a lot more unbalanced, as in TBC and RAF, the subscription numbers were never higher. Now the class balance has never been more balanced and the subscription numbers are nowhere near what it used to be. I'm not saying that's the only factor, but it's a big part of the design philosophy difference between the game now and the game in the classic iterations from classic to RAF. There is often a disconnect in what people say they like and what they actually like. For instance, if you were to ask people and poll people, do you like reality TV? The majority of people I'm sure will say no, it's garbage. Yet it's like one of the most common TV shows that is produced. There's like a gajillion seasons of The Real Housewives of X City. I wouldn't be surprised if there's over a hundred seasons of those shows. Like, it's just that popular. Very few people would say they like reality TV shows, yet someone's watching them. Like, they're one of the most profitable shows to produce, and there's so much of this content, but obviously someone likes it, despite what they say. There you go, that's a bit of a disconnect between what people say and how they behave in reality. And I think this is another example where People will say they want a MMO to be balanced, yet WoW is super balanced now. Like, the classes are really balanced. Only a fraction of people are playing, though, compared to what it was like when the classes weren't balanced by any means. So I think this is a bit of a danger when we're talking about Vanilla Plus. Like, people say, oh, we need to rebalance the classes. And it's like, no, guys, like, 
if we do make changes to classes, it needs to fit within their existing roles and maybe just make it a bit more viable to do a certain spec. But the changes that absolutely shouldn't be made in a theoretical vanilla plus are ones where every class can now do everything. Oh, every class now is a great AoE DPSer. Every class has a self heal. Every class can interrupt and crowd control. That is not the changes that would make vanilla plus good. That is essentially just making retail wow with worse graphics but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video leave your thoughts down below i know this may be a contentious issue and i'm sure some of you guys will have your own thoughts about this i'll see you in the next one peace